listen to this. We were co-crucified, we were co-buried, we were co-resurrected, we were co-raised, we were co-seated, we are co-heirs, and co-rulers. Look at that. Uh, you guys, I hope you like Coco. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a little dumb. I hope you like Coco because God, in his master plan, has seen fit, and his dream is, that we would be melded into one with him. And that's John 17. Jesus said, Father, I desire that they would be one in me and us in them and you in me and, you know, that whole homogenizing thing taking place to where there's no difference. And here we have this crazy verse. It's just like, are you sure, Lord? It's 1 John 4, 17. We are as he is in this world. And I realize some of us have known that verse for a long time, and others, it's going to take a while for us to get our hearts around it. I'm not sure our minds can get around it, but can our hearts get around it? Can we just like, okay, Lord, I don't know how that works, but I believe you more than my circumstances. And uh, let's just pick that verse apart for just a second. He said, we are as he is. It didn't say we are as he was. Now that would probably stretch our belief system a little bit right there. Maybe a lot of it. <laughs> but it says we are as he is. And if we're not sure who Jesus is and what we're comparing it to, think of John the Beloved, Jesus' his best friend, his bosom buddy, who knew him well, talked secrets with Jesus, and then in the first chapter of Revelation, when Jesus shows up in his glorified form, John falls as a dead man like, Oh my goodness! That's the Jesus who is. And 1 John 4.17 says, You and I are as he is in this world. Now, you know, I realize our belief system wants to put all kinds of qualifiers on that. But I'm not sure that's legal. <laughs> you say, Mark, I'm not sure it's legal to believe that unrestrained. Well, we'll uh, we're working on it. <laughs> Jude says, Jesus comes with 10,000, some versions say saints and some ver versions say angels, but uh, that gives some latitude and credence to um, what you're saying here that we're, we make up the parousia and uh, we're manifesting on the earth right now. If you and I are as he is in the earth, that's 1 John 4, 17. Why? Jesus is literally coming to the earth then. Now you say, well, we don't look all that dynamic. It's because, in my thinking, I'm on the front edge of the embryonic belief growth curve. To believe that's really who I am. I'm just starting to begin to believe it. You see, garden variety religion kept me down into, I'm a little weakling, a uh, little old me that can't do anything because, well, God does everything and I can't do anything and I got to wait till I get to heaven before that happens. And that is changing. <laughs> 